All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, this is going to be a doozy. Isn't it? First of all, being the good guy that we are and all that kind of stuff, I have gifts for every little girl here that's in the contest. So make sure you give them a Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, I told you, I have for it, BLK Radio. This is our first judge, Todd Anderson. Here, Todd, raise your hand. Todd does a morning show. Todd doing a morning show. Jazzy T, you guys know Jazzy T in the afternoon. Should I introduce you? Yes, you should. Yes. <laughs> Lakeisha, my intern from Gulf State. And my other intern, Dana from Gulf State. The future, as they say. Oh boy, it'll be bright. Anyway, here's how the contest works. And listen carefully, okay? Because I know somebody's going to call me tomorrow morning and say the usual thing, that they were ripped off and it was unfair and because their hair was this way, it was always something, you know? Fortunately, when I wrote the rules, I tried to cover everything. So here's how it works. We're going to go down to the list of how you checked in. So only one young lady didn't check in, so we'll assume she's not here. So we'll go down to the list. Okay. What you do is you call up. I have question number four. My question is, if I handed you $10 million right now, what's the first three things you would choose to do for our Kelly and his friends? Okay. <laughs> first thing I would do for our Kelly and his friends is, we would probably take a trip to somewhere I've always wanted to go, which is Dubai. Um, second thing I would probably do for our Kelly and his friends is, I'll make our Kelly do a feature song with me. <laughs> and third thing I would probably do with our Kelly and his friends is um, I'll probably make him and his friends do a charity event with me. For the song with our Kelly and Tamia, what would the title of the song be and the reason behind my choice? Okay. If this world were mine. And I chose that song because if this world were mine, I would do a lot of things and I know they would be willing to help me. Name a song by Tamia or another artist that describes how you feel about R. Kelly. You don't want me to sing. <laughs> If it feels good to me, <laughs> and, and, and that's coming from the over fifty club, okay? You got to work with just for the over fifty and the beach girl. Congrats on your rape and shoot to me as latest video, a love song. Describe the concept and setting of your choice. That's the latest. I thought it was a beautiful surprise. Versus saying a lot of Oh, well, um, a beautiful surprise. I would have like butterflies. It would be real bubbly. Um, me and a man, of course. Well, would I have to be in there or to me? Oh, okay. Well, it would be me and a man, of course. It wouldn't be our Kelly of my choice. I'm sorry. Maybe Trey Song or <laughs> Dwayne Wade. That's my type. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it would be real sexy, sensual, and fun. Something like that. If you could describe yourself as a type of food and R. Kelly was the chef, what would it be and how would you ask them to prepare it? Um, I would probably be a um, strawberries, whipped cream, um, vanilla ice cream.
I was just trying to keep his mind off of how how bad he's feeling and reminisce on you know the good times he had in his career. Um, maybe talk about somebody, some people he missed. He's always talking about people that he missed. So basically, I was just trying to keep his mind off the whole situation and try to uplift him that way. That's all. <laughs> If you could plan a date with our Kelly, explain what this perfect date would consist of. Keep it planning for that. No. I'll go here. We'll go somewhere where we have to catch a plane first. Real nice restaurant, candles, do it up like good fellas. Had us bring a table out in the middle of the Lord Miller. He's already a singer, so he don't need to sing around his days later. Um, have a real good, nice dinner. Find, find a nice beach, take a walk on the beach, just look at the stars, see the moon.